is up everyone? It is HPW Fix here and today I am taking you guys on a full room tour of my WWE action figure room. Let's get straight into it. So this is it, the room where all the magic does not happen. So, first thing you see when you walk in, the massive arena. And I'm going to just give you a full in-depth tour of everything in this room. So, let's start over here. So down here, we have the Rickon Slambulance and the Rickon Slammobile, I believe it's called. Next to this crazy beast of a structure. So down here is the Elimination Chamber. And then on top of the Elimination Chamber, we have the Wrestling Superstore Steel Cage. But inside of that, not even, that's not even it. Inside of the Steel Cage, we have... Two more steel cages from the NXT War Games playset, plus two Mattel basic rings. I got too many steel cages. And then we move over to this cabinet, which is very helpful. I'm so much better now that I have this compared to when I didn't, because I can just do so much more stuff with it. So on the top, we have my laptop, which is running through to that screen, which I will get into more later. And we have... The fake blood that I use and the light for those LED lights. Again, we'll get into it later. And now on to the shelves. So, up first on the top shelf, we just have all of my figures uh, here. The HBW World Champion, Roman Reigns. Custom red boots, by the way. Yeah, so up, that's pretty much just figures there. Then in the second drawdown, we have interchangeable hands, title belts, clothes and then under all this mess is interchangeable heads and some other accessories like that so pretty much just accessories heads titles all that stuff in here and a couple money in the bank briefcases then in this shelf we have kind of all the weapons that i use a lot of them are in the backstage area which we'll get to in a second but the majority of them are in here you know you've got ladders you got the cotton ball that i use for edges entrance you got steel chairs Letters, you got the broken pane of glass. You have the put together pane of glass somewhere. Right here, you have the pane of glass right here. You got the ambulance door. You got you got a whole bunch of stuff in here. So it's all just kind of like hardcore accessories and all that. Then in the bottom, kind of just more figures here. You know, Ultimate Brock Lesnar. There's no real like sorting of the figures. I kind of just dump them in whichever shelf I'm closest to when I'm using them. And now we move on to the backstage area. So I'm actually going to start here in gorilla position, which I just built recently. I got something really cool for it. Give it a second to turn on. Bang! Don't know how well it comes across on camera, but I got a blue light shining from above on, on a tripod to uh, give it the effect that the WWE has in their gorilla position. So it looks a lot... A lot cooler like this, in my opinion. And if you have the camera just fully focused in here, like, look how cool that looks. And look how accurate that looks. Like, you go out there, and boom, you're at the freaking... You're in the arena. It's, it's, it's so cool, and I can't wait to use it on the Fed. Now, we can move on to the actual backstage area itself. So, in the backstage area, I just use the Wrestlistic one that I printed onto cardboard. So over here is kind of the bit where most of the backstage segments will take place, at least in HPW's case. There's a trash can here filled with like kendo sticks, sledgehammers, flaming bars, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary. Then you have some steel chairs here, a massive ladder, and then Darby Allen's body bag because just thought it would look cool there. And then you have the raw interview area, which I don't really know why that's there, but not like it's hurting anybody. And then, over here, we have the Rickon forklift. I don't know the name of it, which I got at WrestleMania Access. And then you just kind of have the rest of the backstage area. Not much else going on under the table besides the backstage area. You just got a whole bunch of empty boxes. You have the old payback ring that I used to use before I got my Elite Scale ring. And also, you can just barely see it over there, the old wreckage ring amongst the wreckage of boxes. Pun fully intended. Now we move on over to this amalgamation of things. So this box is kind of just a whole bunch of random crap. You know, this Ultimate Jeff Hardy box, the 
fishing string that I use for my fed, some of the old ring mats that I use. And then in this box, you've just got kind of all my customs and then a ringside promo thing at the bottom. And then over there, it's all kind of just like stuff that I build stages with. Nothing really too interesting besides like wacky colored tape. And now we move on to the main attraction, probably the reason you clicked on this video, the arena. So starting over here behind the arena, I've got the box for that light. I have a uh, rotating base thing that I'm going to use for figure reviews. My Canon camera that I sometimes use. I think I'm going to use my phone for this next upcoming show. Just test the waters, see how, how it feels. Then you've got a piece of paper that I use for crowd signs and some pens that I use to write with, write stuff with. And now I'll show you guys how the laptop works. So, it's just your everyday laptop, but it's hooked up to power and to an HDMI cord, which runs all the way into this massive monitor on the stage, which is like the main attraction of the stage. And I can put any video I want on there. I can put anything I want on there. So that is how I do my entrances at the moment. And now... Let's move on to the rest of the arena, shall we? So, over here we've got the commentary table, which now has the WrestleMania sign, which I guess I can officially reveal now. It has the WrestleMania sign on it, uh, with Road to WrestleMania on it. Don't forget, because we are on the Road to WrestleMania, of course, now. And we've got good old John McJohn face there. He's had a little bit of an upgrade, thanks to the success of the Royal Rampage. Thank you guys for that, by the way. He can now afford commentary in a suit. Pretty epic, if you ask me. And then, over here, we have this crowd area, which I don't know why, but I decided to barricade it off. I guess just to give it some... I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a reason. And then, we have the stage for Wreckage and Rio, which currently consists of the monitor, the, like, triangle thing that's on the Brazilian flag, because obviously the show is in Brazil. And then... The HPW stage, which I, of course, custom made myself. We have a little run up it. It has HPW on it, mirrors and stuff. It's got the Brazilian flag on the bottom. I, de I definitely have to say this is one of my best stages I've done. Then, obviously, you've got more of the crowd over here. By far the best crowd setup I've had. It's so much fuller now because I just used every figure I possibly could for it. And then you have the ring, the Wrestling Superstore Elite Scale Ring. So good, bro. It works so well. The ropes, like, the, I have the AEW ring somewhere else. I can say confidently, this beats the AEW ring. This is a lot better. And I use this custom ring mat and ring apron that my nana made for me. And I use the ringside authentic steps for one side, and then the steps that came with it for another side. Then there's, like, the timekeepers area, or, like, the ring announcers area right here. And that's pretty much it. And I use the ringside authentic mat for the arena. And that pretty much does it. Not much else I can show you guys. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching very much. And I will see you in the next video. Laters.